a model steamboat named Edith. This is part 14, modifying the exhaust manifold, mounting the gas burner and looking at the water piping. The exhaust outlet originally just had a brass collar soft soldered onto it and this was no good at all. I don't want to use flexible piping for this. So I use the same principle as I use for the inlet pipe. To support the pipe internally I use a shank of a 5 32nds of an inch drill and in this clip I'm cutting a thread on the pipe using a 5 16ths by 32 threads per inch die which is currently fitted in my tailstock die holder. And then I modified a commercial 3 8 by 32 threads per inch fitting by removing the thread at one end and then tapping a hole down the centre 5 16ths by 32 to match the one on the pipe. This is a larger fitting than the one on the steam inlet because it needs to be, it's the exhaust and I'm going to use quarter of an inch diameter piping to get the steam out of the engine as quickly as possible after it's done its work. And this is the way of things with gas engines. Don't forget, steam is an invisible gas. For the first time, I'm showing the chimney extension. It's made from a length of copper pipe with V-shapes cut out of it and then it's bent as you see in the picture. Originally though, it was a real mess. It was soft soldered, so I cleaned all of that off and silver soldered it. I didn't video the process because I've got quite a few silver soldering videos already on the channel. In this clip, I've replaced the superstructure temporarily over the chimney extension. And I'm doing this so that I know the position that the boiler is going to sit in the bottom of the boat. Obviously, the boiler is going to be fastened into the boat at some stage. And if I get the position of the boiler wrong, then the chimney extension isn't going to point up the chimney, which is not what I really want to happen. And now with the boiler positioned in the boat, I can also measure from the boiler to the water tank mounting to see how much room I have to play with to mount the gas burner. With the water tank and boiler in the correct position in the hull, there is a four inch gap between the two that allows plenty of room for mounting the burner. I'm going to use a sievert gas blowtorch head. I bought this from Blackgate's Engineering a while back, and these are very good quality gas burner heads. It's just like the one I currently use on my blowtorch, although this one is a lot newer. Before I can use this for its intended application, I need to modify it slightly. The hole that leads to the gas jet in the centre of the burner is just the right size to cut a thread, which is 5 16ths by 32 threads per inch, and that's what you see me doing at the moment. Now I need to make a suitable mounting that doesn't extend the length of the burner very much. I need to be able to have some adjustment on the position of the burner to allow for optimum combustion. So this burner support with the integral gas inlet is going to have to be very compact. This calls for a bit of precision marking out using my precision marking out tool which is a Sharpie felt tip pen. I just hold the burner head against a piece of metal and draw around it. Then it's over to the milling machine to cut the piece of metal to shape. I found this piece of metal block in a box in the workshop where I keep pieces of metal block. And if I remember rightly, this is a piece of alum bronze, which is not nice to machine, but luckily this cutter is a new cutter and it's cutting very well. But a part like this doesn't have to be alum bronze, nor is it a precision item. So the felt tip pen marks will be more than adequate to tell me when to stop using the milling cutter to machine off part of this block. I get quite a lot of comments from viewers these days on the channel. Some of the comments are good, some of them are not so good, and some of them are just general questions. Some of the trolls are very entertaining, they're so sad that the comments make me smile. Some viewers don't even watch the full video before they comment. One viewer said, how can you be putting more weight in this boat, it's going to sink. And after I showed it in the bath at the beginning of this series, floating so high in the water that it was near to capsizing, I really don't know where he got this idea from. Maybe he was just watching the wrong video. On my milling machine, because it's not very rigid and it's not a very good machine, milling has to be done slowly, so I've speeded up this video to 400%. At the Steam Workshop, where I recently have been doing some work, they have a Bridgeport milling machine, and this is a dream to use. It's incredibly beautiful, a total work of art. Whereas my milling machine is a nair rock, which, if you look at the word, is Korean, spelt in reverse. I've had this milling machine since the 1980s, and it wasn't new then. And over the years, I've made quite a lot of good things on this machine. But the time is approaching when really I could do with a better one. So just in case you may be thinking of supporting me via Patreon, 
Remember, my Patreon supporters, and I thank you all, get access to these videos up to five days earlier than the rest of the world. Once again, using my super duper marking out system with the felt tip pen, I'm about to drill a hole in the centre of the block. As you can see, the block is now milled off and it's the correct shape to hold the burner. What I've just done is use the centre drill and rotated it by hand to make a very tiny spot on the work. Then normally I would use a ruler to confirm that this spot is exactly midway between the two sides of the work. This is not proper engineering anyway, it's just me in my home workshop showing beginners how to drill holes in bits of metal. I use my calibrated eye, I know that this is in the middle. And if you were to measure this with a ruler, or maybe with a more scientific piece of measuring equipment, you would soon find out that the hole is more or less exactly in the centre of the work. And here I am, drilling the block, tapping size for 5 16 by 32. And I generally use a drill that is two imperial sizes less than the diameter of the thread. So this is two down from 5 16 which, before I get lots of questions asking me what the size of the drill is, it's 9 30 seconds of an inch. Because this material is alum bronze, first of all I used a taper tap, which I'm withdrawing at high speed here. Now I'm using what's called a plug tap, which allows me to go right down to the bottom of the hole, because as I've just mentioned, this hole does not go all the way through the block. There are usually three types of tap, and these are taper, second and plug. The first one is very tapered, the next one is slightly tapered, and the third one is not tapered very much at all to allow you to get to the bottom of a blind hole. This clip shows clearly what I'm doing. I'm now tightly fitting a brass double union with a copper washer and some Loctite 542 into this hole. And I've also turned off the hexagon part of the burner head, and this will allow me to screw the burner head firmly onto the fitting on the shaped block. Now, using my steel ruler as usual, it's time to mark out the position for the gas inlet union, which is quarter by 40. As well as screwing this burner head very tightly onto the 5 16 by 32 threads per inch union, I'm also going to fit some O-rings. It's a bit of a belt and braces approach, but I don't ever want it to leak. Back in the drilling machine, and I'm drilling a hole down the centre of the work again from the top, and this time I'm drilling a hole which is 7 30 seconds of an inch in diameter, Tapping size for quarter by 40 threads per inch. And once again, this is two imperial sizes down from quarter of an inch. This quarter of an inch hole only goes part of the way through the block. I used a smaller drill to drill through into the 5 16 union. And in this clip, I'm threading the hole using a quarter by 40 threads per inch tap. Followed by fitting a quarter by 40 threads per inch union, complete with a copper washer and some Loctite 542 in the top. Here's a finished burner with its mounting that will need bolting to a metal plate which goes underneath the boiler. The steam engine is fitted with a water pump and these are the connections that go from the tank to the boiler. The bottom fitting is the water inlet and the top fitting is the water outlet. I'm trying some of the original piping in place to find out what the threads are. And I soon found out that these were not ME or model engineering threads. These are commercial pipe fitting threads. And I found out by using a die that this one is a 1 8 BSP. And it's always puzzled me what the 1 8 part of this means because the hole in the centre of this fitting is not 1 8. But I do think that on a general commercial steam fitting, the hole in the centre of a 1 8 BSP threaded piece of metal is generally 1 8 of an inch. Any experts out there I'm sure will tell me if I'm wrong. I need to fit a water bypass valve, so I'm just having a bit of a mock up to see what's feasible. I think I'll be using a water bypass valve like this one, because the one behind is a commercial item and it's horrible. It's just a compressed air fitting onto some sort of plumbing fitting, whereas the one in the foreground looks much better. And that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.